in my DOS one, uh, I have these three messages that are written into the queue buffer. And um, in my task two, I want to introduce a delay uh, so that it reads the data from the queue every 200 milliseconds. So I can use v task delay uh, 200 milliseconds. And uh, in my task one, uh, right after I'm done writing the three messages or three data into the queue buffer, I will use a function called xq reset and the parameter is going to be my queue because I want to reset that queue. Now what will happen is um, even even though the task one has written these uh, three messages into the queue buffer, it will reset the data. So even before task two will get the opportunity to read the data from the queue, the data has been resetted because task two also has this delay. Uh, if I run this program, okay, it's program. So let's run it and let's see how it works. It says that data waiting to be read is zero and available spaces is five, which makes sense because uh, even after I've written three data, I have just reset my buffer. So there is no data waiting in the queue to be read and I have my available space, which is the size of the buffer five. I will get rid of this function of uh, task delay and also this reset function here. Um, if you remember that uh, if I use this function x xq receive, uh, it reads the data and it also removes the data from the queue buffer. So um, let's say this is my my queue buffer and my task one it uh, it fills in three data and my task two it reads the first data and after it's done reading it it removes the first data and then the second data and then the third data. But if I have the three data task 2 can also peek into this data but not remove it so it will peek into the data it will be able to retrieve the data but not have it removed so my the pointer in the queue queue buffer will always be pointed here it will not move on to the to the next block in the queue buffer so i can replace this function xq receive with xq p so let's see how the program runs Um, okay, there is a U. Okay, so let's run the program. Uh, you see, it keeps printing message one. Uh, it does not print message two or message three. This is because uh, the Q peak is peeking into the first data that it received, but it stays there. It's not removing this data from the Q buffer. So this is why it keeps printing message one every time. Um, let's do something else. Let's try another function. I want to send two data only and the size of my queue buffer. Let me stop this. And I want to change the size of my queue buffer to be one. So it only has one block and I can send a message, message one to that one single block. And, um, and my task 2 will peek into the data but this message will still be retained in the queue buffer so my this message 2 will never be written into the queue buffer so let's see that let's run this program and let's see okay so if i reset it again it just prints message 1 so message 2 never gets the chance to write itself to the queue buffer but if I want to force and overwrite the previous data, I can use a function called x send xq override. And this function does not need the third parameter. It does not need a blocking time. It just overwrites the previous data uh, in this queue block, the queue buffer. And, um, and yeah, if we run the program now, it's programmed. So now we can see that uh, message two is, is being printed out because message one has been written and then message two has been overwritten into the single block and now message two is, that, is the data that's been peaked into by task two.